Fora TV. The world is thinking. This is all to suggest that Aristotle's way of thinking about justice, arguing about the nature or the purpose or the good at stake, and worrying about the allocation of honor, actually does capture a lot of what we argue about when we argue about rights and justice and fairness. You notice the same thing if we turn to a contemporary controversy, more fraught than the golf case, about same-sex marriage. Let's just take a quick poll here on that question. Now, here you've got, all right, let me start with two options. Let me give you three options. There are three possible positions. Marriage, state-recognized marriage should be limited to a man and a woman, position number one. Position number two, state recognition of marriage should be extended to same-sex couples. Position number two. Position number three is also an option, though it's seldom debated directly. Maybe the state shouldn't recognize marriage at all, but let other social institutions, churches, synagogues, and other institutions conduct marriage and not have the state, so to speak, bless marriage of any kind. Now let's just take a quick survey of those three positions. Marriage restricted to a man and a woman. woman how many favor that position? All right. Marriage extended to same-sex couples. Now, position number three, abolish marriage altogether as a state-recognized activity. All right, that's interesting. Now, there's a div an interesting division. There are some who want the state to recognize only uh, marriage between a man and a woman. There's a division between the second and third positions. Now, notice a parallel between the second and third positions on the marriage question and the discussion we just had about the golf. Juliet's solution is like position number three. Let everyone have a golf cart. Let everyone get married however they want, but don't have the state accord honor or recognition to any of it. Michael Kinsley uh, actually said that would be a solution to the whole debate. He said, and the institution of government-sanctioned marriage, like churches and other religious institutions offer marriage ceremonies, let department stores and casinos get into the act if they want. <laughs> let couples celebrate their union in any way they choose and consider themselves married any way they want. Now, those of you who favored either position number one or position number two have, I suspect, a disagreement with those who say, let's get the state out of marriage altogether. And what's at stake in that Division is this question of honor and recognition. With Kinsley's solution, if you let any private institution, church, synagogue, department store, casino, marry people, then what you're doing essentially is you're, you're letting everyone ride in the golf cart and you're saying, well, it's not really a sport. And underlying the debate really is, what is the purpose of marriage? Why accord honor or recognition? Is the purpose procreation? People who hold position number one may hold that view. Or is the fundamental point of marriage love and mutual commitment extended over time, in which case you might favor position number two? Or should we not make a judgment one way or the other about those purposes and ends and go for position number three?